race number nine, and the gate is moving. Final for three-year-old Colt Pacers, the Dudley Hanover. The gate picks up speed, and here they come. They're off and pacing from far outside. Klingon Warrior for the lead between horses out fast is Moe's Muffler Shop. Moe's Muffler Shop scoots across the racetrack. Klingon Warrior on the outside, still three wide. On the inside, H.R. Sosa got out third. Four is R.H. Positive. Five, I just want to fly. Racing six as they swing around the turn toward the uh, quarter mile station is Tiger Mountain at the back of the field of Pacers is Caps Classic. They're being led by a neck on the outside by Klingon Warrior, rolling as they drive past the quarter. They're on the back stretch, front panel in 27 1. They're headed toward the half. Klingon Warrior has the lead length and a half behind him. Waiting second now as they straighten down the backside is Moe's Muffler Shop. Third behind him as they drive toward the half is H.R. Sosa. Next is R.H. Positive. Fourth, five. I just want to fly. Racing six as they advance toward the uh, half mile station is Proud Sport. Seven and trailing as they reach that juncture. Caps Classic at the half. They're being led by Klingon Warrior. That marker reached and now they're past it into the upper turn. Half and 55-3. Racing with the lead, Klingon Warrior, the Cole Muffler three-year-old behind him. Waiting patiently second as they drive around the upper turn is H.R. Uh, Sosa. He's moved up, and on the outside of H.R. Sosa, driving, here comes R.H. Positive with pace. Shuffle back now fourth on the inside with no place to go is Moe's Muffler Shop. He has a big hold of Heitman as they drive toward the three-quarter. And now with the lead, Klingon Warrior on the outside. Here comes R.H. Positive. He is closing ground, and here comes Proud Sport. He's three wide. He joins the fray. No place to go on the inside for H.R. Sosa. Three quarters, 126. Relax, third quarter. They turn for home, and on the outside, Proud Sport coming at him. Far outside, getting shook loose now is Tiger Mountain, but it's Proud Sport outside. Inside, Klingon Warrior between them H as they drive to the wire. Proud Sport. Proud Sport wins it. Photo for second. Klingon Warrior in a tight picture with R.H. Positive. Late closing on the inside was H.R. Sosa. He'll be in the photo for third, but appeared to be, and photo for second, rather, but appeared to be fourth. 153, Proud Sport clear with the win, then a three-horse photo for 234. Three-year-old gelded sportsmaster son of the Nihilator mother, Naya Rose. Ernie Adam leads the winner into victory lane. Joe Anderson joins his son, Ryan. Joe, leading trainer in North America last year by number of dollars won. Always top three. Presentation now of the Dudley Hanover Trophy by the Illinois Director of Agriculture, Mr. Joe Hampton. So Joe Hampton presenting to the entourage from the Anderson Stable, owners Miller and Vallandingham. Colt picks up his fourth win of the year and his biggest payday of the season, 17-5 in this one. Ryan Anderson, I believe, is 19 years old. He's a very young man and a very talented young driver, and Ed Teefee may discuss that subject in just, in just a moment with Ryan's father, Joe. So in just a moment, down to Ed Teefee. Ed? Thank you, uh, Carl. With me here in the winner's circle, uh, Joe Anderson, who is playing the role uh, right now as the proud father. Joe, of course, one of the top uh, trainer drivers in the nation with horses like California Connection a few years ago and, of course, Big Tom uh, now. And, uh, Joe, your son Ryan's done a great job. Won now over 100 races in Chicago. Yes, uh, he's got a lot of talent so far, and if he keeps going the way he's going, uh, he's got a bright future. Thank you, Joe Anderson, the father of Ryan Anderson, who's well on the way to follow in his father's footsteps.